I'm sorry, Christopher. We were going to do Overreaction Monday oh. today, <laughs> but news kept breaking oh, from, come on. from Russ signing with the Steelers overnight. And then things like, you know, uh, Josh Jacobs going from the Raiders to the Packers and Christian Wilkins going to the Raiders. And then Kirk Cousins signing with the Falcons, moving and shaking. And all this time we're like, is Saquon going to really leave the Giants? And is it possible for him to go to Philadelphia of all places? Or is Howie Roseman just jacking up the cost to try and stick the tab on the Giants? Because they're not going to just let him cross the Walt Whitman Bridge from New Jersey to Philadelphia, are they? Down the 95. Hit the drum. Breaking news. Boom! Chris Brockman, please tell me what's up. What's going on? According to Adam Schefter and, and the man himself, oh. Saquon Barkley, going to Philadelphia. Oh. Three years. $37.75 million contract. Could be worth up to $46 million. Look at him in green. $26 million guaranteed. Mark, hey, I want you to have my cheese fries. Dude. Sorry, TJ. Look at oh, Saquon I Barkley. Oh, I hate football. Sorry, man. Back oh. in the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, Penn State fans or Eagles fans are losing their friggin' minds right now. There's a lot of them. Oh, my goodness. Saquon oh. tweeting out two Eagles emojis. No cap there. No, no, not blue hat. Blue hat. No, no. blue hats there. No, no blue hats. <laughs> oh, oh my God. goodness! Wow. I don't mean to rub it in, Giants fans. Wow. But really, really, That's what you that get, man. That's what much you get. money is too rich that for your what, blood. That is what you get. And they got to deal with them twice a year. That's now? too <laughs> rich for your blood. They after well, they had to have Daniel Jones, Rich. Now, they, they now, had, now, 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 now listen. Now moment. listen. I get it. The running back position is something you could get out of college, fresh out of college, and win championships right there in the state of New Jersey. Isaiah Pacheco went from Piscataway to... The victory podium to start his career twice in a row. No running back in the history of the NFL's ever done that. Seventh round. I get it. I get it. But I guess a game changing running back is kind of like a lawyer. You don't want to pay him until you need him or her. <laughs> <laughs> right. What happened? Now, the Colts at least got it right with Jonathan Taylor in the end. But what happened last year when the game was on the line, season on the line, backup quarterback, even though Gardner Minshew was a starter for three months? What happened when the Colts needed to get yards in that final drive against the Houston Texans? What'd they do? They basically rode Jonathan Taylor all the way to fourth down and then didn't have him out there. Oh, my goodness. This is the football version of effing around and finding out. <laughs> okay. Now he's in Philadelphia. I mean, and let me just say this too, because I think I saw, did Tiki say it locally? I think he did. I saw that reel over the weekend of him saying, you know, everyone roots for Saquon here. And if he goes to Houston, he goes somewhere else. He winds up on somebody else's team They'll still root for him, but in Philadelphia, it'll be sort of like, now i got to turn my back on you. And I totally understand that, but what's he supposed to do? Not go to Philadelphia because the because he's loyal to the Giants? Wow. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't mean <laughs> I don't mean it because dude is great people, great in the community, and it's it, – you know, it's totally not what the Eagles do, but the Eagles found it in their cap and plan to spend. And I don't blame them because, again, look at the San Francisco 49ers. Look at them paying McCaffrey, getting McCaffrey, paying him that, and rewarded with a game-changing ability. 
Saquon, I know, has trouble staying healthy. I, I get it, but it's worth it. What does this mean? You just lost Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox, and here comes Howie Roseman. By the way, taking Bryce Huff from the Jets, paying him, and taking Saquon from the Giants. He just took two of the best from MetLife and said, I'll take them. Man. <sighs> Howie Roseman just keeps doing it and doing it well. And I I understand. The Giants will just now have to prove it. Show it. Show it that you could just do it with some talented kid out of college. They're going to have to do it now. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Diana Rossini saying the Eagles aren't done. Well, when, when, is, when are they ever done? They're never done. They're remaking their team. You know, didn't work out last year. Now, I mean, Saquon and Jalen Hurts at the mesh point with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard. And, you know, figuring out whoever is going to fill in for Kelsey. That be huge shoes to fill. Uh, I that best of luck, and I'm sorry, Giants fans. That is an un unkind turn of events. And I'm just wondering if last year, what if they paid Saquon and franchise tag Daniel Jones, and how much more different it would be? Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 